Um, I'm mostly excited to go on the honeymoon, and I will be in the car in the morning. Just kidding, I'll fly and meet you there. Um, and I believe the greatest friend anybody could have. Um, I'm not going to add to the confusing math, but like if we were lining people up in order of quality of friends, she'd be the top four at least ever. <laughs> Today, we are here to witness the beauty in Abby and Aiden's choice of one another. You are here because you are important parts of Aiden and Abby's family. You are important parts of Aiden and Abby's story. Today is not the beginning of their story, but it will most likely be one of their most memorable chapters. Abby, the day is finally here, the day we have both worked so hard to get to not only in preparation for our wedding, but through our entire lives. Every step we took in life created a path to where we are now. Each action we took, a cause and effect that brought us together. People often ask, what is the meaning of life? What is our purpose? And I didn't know the answer until I found you. From that day forward, I knew I was gonna try my hardest every day to let you know how much I care for you that was my purpose that is my purpose because if I didn't have you what would I do my sweet Aiden today is the day I finally become your wife we've known each other for about 1056 days and I've known I wanted to be yours forever in 873 of those <laughs> days <laughs> it's true what people say about the passage of time when you're in love I feel like I blinked and now we're here joining our lives together of the 1,056 days we've spent together, there are so many days that stick out in my brain. A lot of times I think back to our first date and remember the feeling of excitement as I got in the car after, and I just couldn't contain my joy. The feeling of needing to bounce in my seat because I felt so happy. Screaming lyrics to a song, driving home, cheesing. Cheeks getting sore from grinning. Googling, is it normal to fall in love after only two months? <laughs> I rest in the fact that even after 1,056 days, you still make me feel that same joy and excitement. I vow to live each day for you, to be the best man that I can be for you, to care, to protect, to provide, and to nurture you, to be your number one supporter, to help you grow, and to love you for all eternity. Thank you for existing, and thank you for allowing me to exist with you. Over the past 1,056 days, the way that you pursue me daily has never wavered. Your love is not only evident in your words, but it's evident in your actions too. You keep fresh flowers for me, often picking them when you see some that remind you of me. You cook meals for me and walk me to the car with coffee and breakfast so I'm fueled for the day. You lotion my feet for me because you know I hate to. <laughs> You always kneel down and buckle my shoes for me, which is a seemingly minuscule task that means a lot to me when you do. I always say, Aiden is the only perfect man, and Aiden isn't real, <laughs> because <laughs> the degree at which you care for me feels like a dream. People always say, quote, you're everything to me, but in every sense of the phrase, you're everything. I think of you every moment of every day. I talk about you to strangers like they know you. I look through pictures and memories and imagine all the new ones we'll create. All this feels too good to be true, but I'm elated to be here in real life with only one. I know my dad would be so happy I found you. I love you, Aiden. So finally, <laughs> by the power vested in me, by Aiden and Abby, I pronounce you husband and wife. Abby and Aiden decided that our backyard would be a good venue for their wedding. It seemed like an impossible dream. In spite of the gazebo about to fall apart, 
in the yard in need of a major facelift. They decided they could make it work. So we are the lucky parents of the amazing Aiden. And 35 years ago, we got married on the gazebo, just like they did. Wait and who's Amazing Aiden? I haven't heard that all night. Amazing Aiden, <laughs> yes. He is a sweetheart. Growing up, Aiden being my older sibling, I thought everything he did was the coolest. Aiden was into photography, I got into photography. When Aiden played football in high school, I played football in high school. And Aiden really is the definition of a perfect role model and mentor. Aiden is a really good decision maker. And tonight, more than ever, I think he made the right decision when picking who he wants to spend the rest of his life with. It's safe to say that as much as Aiden was the first friend I ever had, given, you know, you grew up together, he's, he's the person I'm closest to, that bond has been so special. We're not just friends, we're not just cousins. At this point, I feel like this family's so close, he's been like a brother to me. Um, Abby's kind, she always thinks of others. She's incredibly smart in a way that continues to impress and surprise me all of the time. Um, she remembers little things in a way that only crazy, all-encompassing love for people can do. 